Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called, What Do Bitcoin Millionaires Know That Others Don't? Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. There is a lot of curiosity out there about the lifestyle and decision-making of Bitcoin millionaires. Some people believe that if Bitcoin millionaires were smart enough to know that Bitcoin would be a monster moneymaker before anybody else knew, then they might be smart enough to know about future trends before the public does. Trends about real estate, trends about technology, the stock market, finance and banking, etc. So we thought it would be interesting to reach out to some Bitcoin millionaires and pick their brains about some topics of interest to a lot of people. They were happy to be interviewed, but only if we maintained their anonymity for security reasons. So we agreed not to reveal their identities. Here are some of the answers to the questions we asked. What do you think of the real estate market now? And do you plan to make any home purchases over the next year or so? Bitcoin investor number one, answered i've already sold my properties and now i'm just renting i also have an option to buy one of the homes i use now investor number two buying real estate now would be like dating a pregnant woman you're going to be in for a big surprise in nine months or maybe it won't be such a surprise maybe you're just going to expect what comes investor number three i wouldn't buy real estate anywhere in the country now except miami prices are still stable in miami but they're dropping all over the place uh, around the country. But Miami, they, they like Miami. Next question, what do you think about the future investability of Bitcoin? Investor number one, I believe it is strong and the fact that the government wants to create its own digital currency proves it. Investor number two, I trust gold and silver, but they aren't nearly as portable or as secure as Bitcoin. Gold and silver prices tend to move very slowly and gradually. That's not the case with Bitcoin. Also, no matter how many times Bitcoin prices drop, they always come back up and sometimes they go even higher. Also, there are some states like California that are desperate to tax your wealth, not your income, but your wealth, which means they want to keep retaxing the same wealth over and over and over each year even though you've paid taxes on it the previous years. Bitcoin is one of those things that you can leave, leave with very quickly. You don't have to do wire transfers, none of that. You can just move the Bitcoin in your pocket or with email, however you deem appropriate. What would the difference be between uh, repeatedly taxing your wealth and being robbed on the street of your wallet? I don't see the difference, he said. After a certain point, it's all just wealth seizure and confiscation. But Bitcoin makes it harder for them to take or seize your money. Investor number three says, I don't trust most paper assets anymore. If I can't physically possess it or hold it or relocate it, then I don't trust it. Paper assets are now a synonym for stuff they can steal from you. Most people I know don't trust paper assets, but Bitcoin is something that is immediately transportable, relocatable, and concealable. Next question. What percentage of your current investment portfolio do you still have in Bitcoin? Investor number one. I have a third in Bitcoin, a third in my home, which I purchased years ago, but has grown dramatically, and a third in physical gold and silver. Investor number two. I've got half my portfolio in Nvidia stock and the other half in Bitcoin. Investor number three. I've got most of my money in Bitcoin. Next question. Do you invest in Elon Musk's companies? Investor number one, yes, I've been investing in, in Musk for quite a long time now. Investor number two, I believe that Starlink, Neuralink, SpaceX all have very bright futures. But for me, the jury's still out on Tesla. Investor number three, I'm not sure about Tesla, but I have a lot of faith in Starlink and Neuralink. What do you think happens after the next presidential election in 2024? Investor number one, that depends on who wins. And of course, that's followed by laughter. Investor number two says, I think Vietnam and India have very bright futures both now and after the next election. But everyone else is going to be in a dogfight. Investor number three, I believe the onshoring movement of factories will accelerate uh, as more and more companies come back to the U.S. 
to do their manufacturing. I think that's a really good thing. Anyone who still thinks that everyone should manufacture all their stuff overseas is basically suicidal or too stupid for me to do business with. Next question. Do you believe in any other crypto besides Bitcoin? Investor number one. Laughter followed by no way. Too much fraud. Investor number two. Bitcoin has no legitimate competitors now. Investor number three. I don't trust any of the other cryptos. They're just scams. Next question. What percentage of your crypto millionaire friends have gone bust? Investor number one. It's a scary percentage, but not because of Bitcoin, but because of their crazy investments that they made outside of the crypto space. Investor number two. For some reason, a lot of crypto millionaires are alcoholics or druggies, not just because they're into crypto, but because they tend to be engineers. And engineers are just overcome with drug problems and drinking problems, so that affects their investment decision making. I never trust anybody who drinks or gets high during the week. They're all compromised. Uh, partying should only be done on the weekend if you're a serious person, not during the week. If you have to invest in something other than Bitcoin, what would it be? Investor number one says, I'd consider blue chip art. Number two says, I'd wait until real estate hit the bottom and then move into cash flow generating residential real estate. Investor number three, I would start buying IP patents and Nvidia stock. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's episode of our show on all your social media to help get the word out. Thank you, and we shall see you soon. Bye-bye.